and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for the disappearance of JJ Fellow and Tylee Ryan. Before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload. I will upload a new video every week and I also offer free tarot reading for all of my subscribers. So if you would like to have your free reading with me, you can just message me to my email or send a direct message to my Instagram. All of the description will be in the description box below. JJ Fellow and Tylee Ryan are two siblings from Idaho who lived in Arizona for years and have been missing for months. Their mother, Lori Fellow, has now been arrested in connection with their disappearance. Newly released court records in the case of two missing Idaho children show that one was last seen in September in Yellowstone National Park two weeks before the last known sighting of her brother in a small town in Idaho. Authorities did not begin searching for the two children for nearly two months when their grandmother asked Gilbert police to check on her grandson seven-year-old Joshua or JJ Fellow who has autism because she had not heard from him. His sister Tylee Ryan was last seen two weeks earlier in Yellowstone National Park. Gilbert police started alerted Rexburg police on November the 25th of Joshua's disappearance, kicking off a nationwide manhunt into both of the children's disappearance. All right, let's just start with the reading. Okay, let's see what we have here. So from the first deck, we have Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Four of Wands, the Temperance, the Hermit, Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Daughter of Swords, and Son of Swords. I would like to start by addressing that this Daughter of Swords and Son of Swords are their energies with this Daughter of Swords as Tylee's energy and the Son of Swords as JJ's. Okay, I'm trying to put the pieces together but I feel like the Five of Swords here represents that there was a fight. This could be about um, how Laurie's ex-husband Charles Fellow died and this four of wands represents that someone is celebrating for what happened to Charles. So we could say that Lori was not upset about what happened to Charles. And this eight of pentacles, I feel that this could mean that the kids knew what happened, what really happened, what went wrong that day and that they were kind of held captive because of that reason. And these three of pentacles here represents that there were three people involved in whatever happened. These three people are also responsible for the disappearance of both of the children. At this point, I couldn't really say that they were murdered or just held captive. I hope to get more details about what happened to them from the second deck. And now let's just see what we have. Here's the temperance, the hermit and two of wands. I think that these three cards are talking about what happened to Tammy, which was Chad's ex wife okay so chad is the new husband of Lori, and he had a wife that died i think about two weeks before he married Lori, and i think that these three cards are talking about what happened to tammy because here the hermit is like a single target and i think that this represents tammy if I didn't know what happened to Tammy, I would probably just say there's someone that they were targeting. But then because I know 
what happened so I could say that this someone is tamming and it's because of this temperance and the two of wands these two cards are about planning and because there's temperance here this plan is really is planned carefully you can see that there's a fire here and also here with the hermit on the hermit's back so this is kind of like a symbol of the events lead to what happened to Tammy so she was targeted and that they were planning to put off the fire which represents Tammy's life with the water here you can see that the temperance here trying to put up the fire which in this case I feel that it's about Tammy's life and it was planned ahead of time by I think um, both Chad and Laurie okay so I would like to draw more cuts to get more insight about this case okay so from the second deck we have three of pentacles the tower eight of wands seven of pentacles two of pentacles knight of wands ten of wands the world and judgment card okay so we can see that there are a lot of same cards appear twice here so that would be like an underline of this reading okay so we have another three of pentacles the seven of pentacles and eight of pentacles okay so this three of pentacles represents that there are three people involved and i feel that these three are laurie chad and laurie's brother alex and this seven of pentacles and eight of pentacles represent that they've been planning a lot of things and that they kind of mastering what they're doing okay we'll just see the another cards okay there's a tower and eight of wands the tower represents sudden change it could also mean that there's explosion and this eight of wands represents something that is happening so fast so i feel that these two are telling me that whatever happened to the kids is not part of the actual plan i think that there's a complication regarding their primary plan and that the kids probably became an implication and they have to do something about it these two of pentacles represents that they are thinking of what to do to the kids and the knight of wands here i think that this is the representation of alex's energy i think that he did most of the dirty work if you know what i mean and that because he knew too much he had to be stopped which is why he died and i think that he held the key to this mystery and without him i think that this will not be easy to solve this turn of wands i think that this represents that someone took the kid to somewhere hidden and with the word card here i think that the children are no longer with us because the world symbolized heaven and earth the connectivity of heaven and earth and i think because of that it tells us that they are no longer with us and the judgment card here represents problem solving and undertaking the problem successfully so either way this means that the hope to find the kids alive is very little and we can just hope that the justice 
will be served to whoever responsible for them. From the Oracle card we have gentleness, you are safe and prioritized. I think that what happened to the children is part of the brainwashing thing and I don't think that Lori was the one who took care of the children. It was a male figure here so I believe that it probably Alex who did it and I think that they truly believe that the doomsday is coming and that they need to do something about it and this really messed up I know but this is just a mind game I feel like our mind is a dangerous weapon to use against each other uh, yeah, I think that is all the reading about the disappearance of JJ Velo and Tylee Ryan. And once again, I would like to remind you that this is for entertainment purpose only. I don't mean to offend anybody here. And I would like to hear your opinions about this case. So please share it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next Unsolved Cases reading.